Maybe my code pan is wrong. Hello and welcome to Keeping My Code Hand Strong, where today we'll be briefly going over the ESP8266 and how it was just ported to the Arduino IDE. Um, if you've been following the ESP8266, uh, it's a cool module by Espressive. Um, they've come out with it uh, f probably five or six months ago. I've only been playing with it for about a month or so. Very cool module. Um, up until recently, it has been um, a little bit less than entry level. Uh, the learning curve has been pretty hard to program and get them work real good. Uh, I've messed with uh, the native ESP um, SDK, SDK with uh, the ESPTool.py as well as the Node MCU, um, both which work. But now that it's been ported to the Arduino IDE, um, I think it's really going to be uh, a lot, a lot more entry level for a whole lot more people as the Arduino IDE is already so globally supported. So uh, I'll go ahead and post a link to this, the code where you can download this uh, the Arduino IDE. Uh, it's on the code.google. But basically, and I'm on Linux here, so I just went and git cloned the git cloned this uh, address here, and then I put it into my op path, and I changed into the the path and into the build directory, and just typed ant, and that went ahead and compiled it. And once it's compiled, I hit ant run, and that went ahead and started up the Arduino IDE. And uh, it comes native with a lot of cool um, ESP8266 examples. Uh, and I just took the Wi-Fi web server one and kind of slightly modified it. And I'll put a link to my GitHub where you can go and grab this as well. And uh, I just basically changed one thing here in the way it's uh, handling the git request so we've just uh, made it handle the git request that we're going to send from our jQuery on our HTML page um, you could access this directly um, and the first time you'll want to when you run this you'll want to have it connected to your serial so you can debug it and uh, get the actual IP address for the module as you'll need to input that into your jQuery code to make the git request actually work to toggle it but I've just basically set up a small demo here using this modified sketch and uh, after we de after we go ahead and use the debug serial to get the address I've went ahead and uh, just coded a small HTML page and I'll go ahead and show you that here and we've just basically made two buttons and in the buttons we've gave an ID of one and of zero one being to toggle the LED on and two or zero to be to toggle it off and then we've gave it a class of LED it's got a couple other classes those are just for the bootstrap that not really important the one that's important to our jQuery code is the LED class um, so we've just got two buttons that basically one, one will toggle it on and one will toggle it off and how we go about doing that and uh, I got this from All About EE's tutorial so uh, if you go check his uh, channel out and subscribe and like he's got a lot of great uh, tutorials on the ESP8266 so uh, I strongly recommend going and checking that out but uh, w using, using that as a base we've went ahead and made this small jQuery script and um, we basically give it a a f on click function these buttons are an on click function by saying anything that has a l in the led class that we we gave our buttons up here we want to make it a click function and in that function we're going to save to the variable p the id attribute and this button here's id attribute would be one so it'd save one into the variable p or if this button was clicked it'd save the id variable zero into p here so after we get our variable set, so we'll click it, whichever one's clicked, it will store the ID in the P variable. And then here's where the actual request gets sent. We take the ID, the uh, IP address that we got from the debug serial window. In my case, it was uh, on my network, it turned to be um, 192.168.1.70. So just replace that X with uh, the actual address that you get from your module. And what we're telling it to do with this last command here is we're saying make a git request to the, to the IP address of the module with the parameter of GPIO and the variable of P. And what it actually, the request that gets sent to the module looks just like this. It says it's the IP address of the module backslash with the question mark GPIO equals and P is going to be either 1 or 0 depending on which button was clicked so 
uh, we could actually go to our browser and just type this in and replace P with either 1 or 0 and it will toggle it. But what we've done with this web page, and I'll show you the web page here, and we've got a camera set up so we can watch this uh, kind of live. We've, we've, this is the, the web page that we just saw the HTML code for and here's our button with uh, the ID of 1 and here's our button with the ID of 0. So you see as you click the, the one with 1 it'll go ahead and toggle our LED on you click the one with the zero ID and it clicks it off. So just a simple demo of uh, the Wi-Fi web server with a static HTML page. So um, I only this this particular model here, the O1, has three GPIOs. So you could actually have three sets of buttons here to toggle three different things. And it doesn't just have to be an LED. This is just for demo purposes. You could put it to a relay and and start uh, turning on and off uh, wirelessly anything that you know you could plug in. Basically, uh, all kinds of cool implications for this thing. Um, it it does work. It's pretty quick in here, as you can see. It goes pretty quick the response is very quick I tried it in my backyard and it was uh, it took slightly longer but uh, I don't know if you could see this I've got it on my phone here and it'll does the same thing it toggles on it toggles off so pretty cool just wanted to uh, get that out there kinda publicize a little bit more that they have ported over the libraries uh, Arduino ID has ported it over so uh, I'll be putting the code so you can go and build this and start testing it out and running it and uh, it's really uh, a big thing for this chipset I think it's really gonna make it accessible to the masses so uh, have fun hack the planet and then until next time I'll be keeping my code hand strong